Well, February 1st to 7th is Eating Disorders Awareness Week. It is an issue that many who suffer through eating disorders might feel is not discussed as much as it should. And while the numbers on how many Canadians living with an eating disorder vary between 150,000 to as large as 600,000 across Canada, it's clear that it is a growing problem. So we thought we would call in the doctors, Dr. Mark Chandra and Dr. Jyoti Katakar, to discuss the issue of eating disorders a little bit more. Well, Welcome back, doctor. Thank <laughs> Thanks you. So Good to have you. you. So explain what are eating disorders? Sure. Um, so basically, an eating disorder, somebody could be said to have an eating disorder if their attitudes towards food, instead of improving their lifestyle and improving their wellness, actually begins to detract from their wellness and mm. detract from their happiness with life. In broad strokes, that's what the term eating disorder would mean. It's a, a pathologic attitude towards food. And so some yeah. people would say, well, can't you just change that? mindset mm. and what I've learned is that eating disorders are really a, a mental disorder as well Dr. Jyoti. Mm. Right so there's a there's a disturbance in perception mm -hmm. um, the the way a person perceives their body is distorted mm. so it, it is it's a very difficult disease to treat because mm. um, as much as you as much as you can tell somebody that they their their body size is appropriate um, there's th that person has a difficulty believing um, that that's the truth mm -hmm. so there are three kind of main de eating dis disorders that we mm -hmm. talk about right uh, let's go with the first anorexia nervosa sure explain that a little bit more sure so the term anorexia simply means without hunger and at some point in our lives um, all of us have experienced anorexia for example when we're sick with the flu mm -hmm. all right okay. we, we are for that period of time anorexic mm -hmm. all right and that's normal however anorexia nervosa that term describes the pathological condition which like you said is, is a can be considered a mental health disorder in which a person has certain um, characteristics the chief one among anorexia nervosa is the refusal to maintain a normal body weight mm -hmm. And it is uh, the disease, uh, it is the eating disorder that is the most characterized by uh, restricting, mm -hmm. all right? So that is typically the, the young female who constantly perceives her body as being uh, too big that will um, apparently, especially the people around her, live her life as if she's not hungry. Um, not eating, uh, not drinking enough sometimes out of a desire to achieve a, a body weight that is completely um, out of touch with, with what a normal body weight would be. And you say young yeah. female because 90% of women, or of anorexia nervosa tends to be afflicted to women? Yeah, what is, um, of, of all of the eating disorders, of all the, the people with eating disorders, approximately 90% of them are female. Okay. But that yeah. doesn't mean, obviously, there are some men. Absolutely, that absolutely, this, yeah. This issue. What are some other, now obviously on the outside we would mm -hmm. see, uh, let's say women, mm -hmm. losing weight if they had anorexia, mm -hmm. but also there are internal uh, issues that also result from anorexia as well, right? Like um, bone absolutely. density issues, all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, oh definitely. Um, so the, um, the, the eating disorders um, have, have many impacts on physical well-being. Um, not only is it weight loss, but like you said, um, uh, uh, bone mineral density can decrease. Um, for women, you can have things like even uh, stop having your periods, mm -hmm. you know, if, if you're not getting enough intake. But, but certainly anorexia nervosa is one form of the eating disorder. Yeah. There are others. Yeah. And bulimia is the other one. Right? And bulimia is the other one. So the, 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 the bulimic is somebody, is a, is a person who, ten, who overeats mm -hmm. and then the, the, the uh, consequence to, to that is that um, they're, they're now looking for a means of getting rid of the um, burning off the calories um, or getting rid of that excess food. So the, 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 the binging is the overeating and then it is often accompanied by a purge of some kind. So that could, could be in the form of over exercising or perhaps trying to induce vomiting to to get rid of the or, or even the, laxative abuse or, or we laxative, see sometimes. Yes. So there's a distinction to be made between the anorexic who often feels in control mm -hmm. because but because they're modulate they're 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 um, they're 
controlling every aspect of, of how much food is going in, the bulimic often um, feels out of control. That's, mm. that's how they would describe um, that, their, their um, inner struggle. sense, their mm. inner struggle. I think that's a good word, the inner struggle. Yeah. I think that says a lot about the causes of, of, of these diseases. Mm -hmm. um, certainly the causes are multifactorial. Um, they could include things like um, uh, the attitudes that your parents may have had with respect to food and body, the premiums that your particular culture happens to place on that, and even um, that we see a lot of is the influences of the media, you know, of uh, the, the type of body that is held up as the ideal in, in, in media and advertising is is sometimes simply not in keeping with optimum health, let's face it. Mm -hmm. And I must admit, with uh, some of our patients, we've also found that uh, even those things aside, many of them are just struggling with trauma in their lives. You know, they've experienced abuse in the past, difficult upbringings, and all of those multiple factors seem to lead towards these conditions. Oh. And yeah. Often yeah. Um, patients with, with these disorders are often um, perfectionistic, mm. uh, overachieving. So it's, it's that um, drive to try to keep everything in one's life under control. Mm. And I think we can all relate to that in some way. You know, we're all broken in that sense in mm. that we're always looking to, uh, to have control over our lives when, when ultimately um, we know uh, who really yeah. needs to be in control. It's, it truly is um, God that needs to be in control. And then when we start trying to fill in that, yeah. um, in that role yeah. with, our, with our own selves, it breaks down. Yeah. Binge eating is mm. another um, part of this Absolutely. discussion Absolutely. that I think doesn't really get a lot of attention. I remember interviewing somebody who uh, struggled with binge eating, binge eating. disorder mm -hmm. and just the shame of uh, the fact that you know she would just carve all this food down yeah. and then uh, just feel so guilty after and lived in a lot of shame and a lot of seclusion because of that. Mm -hmm. I, I think that you've really hit the nail on the head there in terms of your what you mentioned about just shame. Mm -hmm. You know, you can imagine the the stigmas associated with these conditions just compounds all of those multiple factors leading to it that I mentioned. You know, you just it's not something that you would talk about. You know, it's not something you would talk about with your, with your friends, you know, m much less your family, you know. But you're right, binge eating, uh, to be, to be um, differentiated from, from bulimia. So bulimia nervosa would be the disease that's characterized by binge eating followed by a purge. Mm -hmm. But binge eating disorder would be sort of one half of that. Mm -hmm. It's that uncontrollable eating, that eating to the point of beyond fullness when you feel kind of sick, mm -hmm. but, but not associated with the purging. But, but still, just as much an eating disorder. It's that it just decreases your quality of life and, and wellness, you know? D definitely, um, if, you, if, you, you know, if anyone's concerned that they may have something like this, you know, or um, know of somebody who, who, yeah. who might, that seeking professional help is, is actually pretty important. You know. And how important is it to be a support? I remember speaking to somebody who had struggled through anorexia, mm. and she said it was just trigger words. It was somebody saying, oh, you look great, and thinking, or you look, oh, you've gained a little weight, and then that being a trigger, like, oh, no, I'm fat. And just certain things, and just being careful, especially if you know somebody is struggling through one of these eating disorders, being careful about what you say around this person yeah. and how you talk about their appearance. I think just generally speaking, it, it's, it's, just a, it's good to remind ourselves that we need to um, focus on, um, not so much on, on some, yeah. somebody's outward appearance. Yeah. Let's not... In general, period. In general, yeah, right. let's yeah. not, right. not be um, congratulating people on what they look like. Why, why not emphasize that which truly matters? Um, you know, if somebody's uh, shown a, a, a characteristic or, you know, has, has a character uh, trait that we admire, I think that's something that's mm. much more worthy of praise than maybe what somebody looks like on the outside. You know, and, and we as Christians have the assurance from God's Word that we do not derive our value mm. from things like what our body looks like, yeah. the color of our skin, how wealthy we are, 
our value comes from being created in the image of God. You know, so we, we have that assurance and one of the ways that we can support each other as members of the body of Christ is to just impress upon that person. Yeah. You know, that not only do they need to do things like seek counseling, seek help and, and just bring it out into the open. Like so many mental health disorders just need to be, they hate the light, mm -hmm. you know, just bring them out in the open, but also remind them that their value comes from being created in God's image. Yeah. You know, and um, that's um, awesome. Thanks, yeah. doctors. Yeah, My pleasure. pleasure. It's great chatting with you. <laughs> Thank Thanks. Thank you. And remember, I mean, as yeah. as Dr. Um, Chandra said, we are all made in the image of God. That's a good reminder today.